are back and it's February 15th and today we're going to be talking with a couple of folks here about some of the things going on this week at Shell Point and also we've got some special information about computers and about the internet. I want to start with Michelle Tompkins and you all know Michelle of course, she's our wellness manager, but I'd also like to introduce you to one of our other guests. Today we've got Nathan Hellenbrandt and Nathan works in the marketing department and communications uh, and he is one of our, do they call them webmasters anymore? What's, what's your title, Nathan? I think that's an older term, but I'm the digital media specialist here at Shell Point. Okay. Uh, although I would very much like to be called the webmaster, <laughs> I think it's very regal, but uh, I'll stick with my title. All right, well, good. Well, we'll be talking a little bit about that in a few minutes, but first, why don't you mm -hmm. fill us in on some of the things that are going on this week? Well, of course, tomorrow we have Dr. Harmon here in the Oak Room at 1.30 discussing minimally invasive hip procedures and talking about all the latest techniques and what you go through. So you won't want to miss that. That's a health connection program. Um, but touching on computers, we have Mike Peterson here as well tomorrow from Computer Medics, and he's going to discuss some computer issues, talk about viruses, malware, and then he's going to hit on some more general topics such as the computer itself, mouse, keyboard, and talk about some of the programs. So this is a part one of a two-part series tomorrow, and he'll have handouts. So for those of us who need to be brushed up on our computer skills and have some questions, he will be here to answer those frequently asked questions. That's great, and that's an mm -hmm. awesome service for all of our residents who are using computers mm -hmm. and might want to get some extra help with that. Um, speaking of computers, so we just introduced you and what you do here, Nathan, but mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about shellpoint.net and some of the information that our residents could find on there that would be helpful to them. Of course. Well, .net is the resident website, so a lot of the information on there is for the residents and gets updated daily. So a lot of the events that they can go to and plan out their week for, um, a lot of the interactive map, for instance, uh, a lot of locations here and the meeting places, they can see where exactly they'll be meeting for these events, and other things like support groups and uh, even the magazine is on .NET. And it's so nice because it's a place where all of that's being stored digitally and uh, it makes it available to you 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that there is also a section of .NET that holds information that is considered a little bit more secure. Tell us a little bit about ShellPoint Secure. ShellPoint Secure is a, um, a secure website on its own or separate from .NET that uh, sh residents can go to for information like the photo directory mm -hmm. where they can see their fellow residents and where they live and uh, put a name to the face. That's a good point. You know, resident roster and the photo directory have personal information in them, and so we don't want to put them on .NET that they could just be accessed by anybody. So they're in a more protected place on our website. Mm -hmm. um, there are some other items on there. I believe we have the resident council minutes yeah. are put on that, and also is there anything else that you can think of that residents might find interesting on dot on that? We do have the resident quarterly meeting as well, the videos, and uh, some other documents too, along with the resident roster. Great, so. great. Well, I know that we're planning on putting a lot more on .NET. Michelle, how do you feel like your department utilizes .NET for communicating with residents? I was just going to say, I think you just put the club fitness schedule on for us. It is. It is up there. Yeah, so we've got our fitness schedules up there at the club and our general fitness schedules and our health connection program. Mm -hmm. You can click on the brochure and access that online, too. Mm -hmm. That's great. Plus, I know we have some things that residents can literally sign up for using mm -hmm. uh, .NET. Mm -hmm. Tell us some of the types of programming that they can use .NET for to register? Well, the two, the two biggest things is the academy that they can register for online and the uh, health connection. So a lot of the classes that go on over there, even though they happen at different points in the year, they can still uh, look at those classes, get some details, get some information, and uh, sign up for them. Excellent. Excellent. So I assume doing the websites keeps you pretty busy. It's, uh, it's a full-time job. Yeah. Well, we're glad that you're here doing it, that's for sure. So I think that uh, that covers a lot of what's going on today. And if anybody ever has any questions about .NET, is there a way for them to uh, contact us through the uh, website? Yes, on the main page of .NET, there's a, uh, on the middle right side, there's a little suggestion box that they can click on and offer any suggestions that they have. Great, great. Well, thanks for being with us today and sharing that information. And thank you for joining us today on ShellPoint Today. Thank you.